24 has delicious offerings like the pizza steak, 10 ounces of delicious ribeye steak cooked with pepperoni and marinara sauce, topped with provolone cheese and placed on a fresh baked Italian roll. The General Store on 24 in Lewis. All right, 838. Good morning to everybody jumping on our live this morning. Hello. We're live up on Facebook. Head on over, check it out, share the video. Also, check out the Bill and Jessica podcast. Yes. Up on the free power app in your app store, click on podcasting. You can check out segments from our show at any time. All right, here are some trending stories this morning. In case you haven't heard, actors and actresses are now yeah, on strike. I know. Actors and actresses. They had the writer's strike. Now mm-hmm. it moves over to the actors and actresses, which means they cannot promote their projects or attend premieres. Really? So they can't even do any of that? Nope. Oh. Unfortunately, this didn't work out for the Haunted Ma- Mansion premiere. It took place at Disneyland on Saturday, but the show must go on mm. instead of actors from the movie like Jamie Lee Curtis, Owen Wilson, Tiffany Haddish, etc. Walking the red carpet. Mm-hmm. They had Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, the evil queen, you know, doing the red carpet oh. for the premiere. So the director attended and said it was sad and disappointing to be there without his cast. Mm. He says, I'm not disappointed in the cast. I'm disappointed in the conditions. Yeah. That you know have been brought about the situation. So, in other strike news, shame. by the way, production on Deadpool three, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part two, which is Tom Cruise. We talked about that yep. movie last week. Gladiator two, all halted. Also, Mandy Moore and her This Is Us co-stars joined the picket line on Friday for the first day of the strike. Mm. So, again, I, I hope they get it all figured they out. They will eventually. I think. And I hate to say this, but right now, it's July, and it's like it's summertime, out of sight, out of mind. Right. I, you know, I, yeah. I don't think it's on people's first feel it until the fall. priority list. Yeah, now when fall comes and some people don't get their new fall shows and all yeah. this, then they'll hurry up and do something. Mm. But I do. I think it might even be late August. I, I think it's going to go crazy. go for a while. But wow, you know, crazy. HGTV star Ty Pennington. How's he doing? He uh, he had to be hospitalized in the ICU last week after going to a red carpet premiere for the new Barbie movie. Oh. Yeah, he had an abscess in his throat and needed surgery. He's recovering now. Oh. So there you go. But yeah, you know, remember Ty Pennington from Wasn't Trading Spaces? That bus? Extreme right Makeover right? Home Edition? Yeah. Yeah. Move that, that bus. bus. Didn't they we come, were there. We were there. Didn't they come to Delaware yes. or something? Wow. Well, if you're hoping for a Titanic sequel focusing on the tragedy from last month, you know, with the submarine and all that, one, you're a little morbid, and two, it doesn't sound like the old cast will be reuniting. Mm. Yeah, people actually suggested that, that they do, like, a part two or whatever. Titanic director James Cameron was all over the place when people were talking about, you know, the the missing uh, submarine both because of the Titanic connection and because he has experience with underwater, uh, you know, submersibles himself. But he won't be making a movie about it. Mm. He tweeted, I don't respond uh, to offensive rumors in the media usually, but I need to now. I'm not in talks with Oceangate oh. for a film, nor will I be. So he wants no part. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, Joe Jonas recently revealed that he once accidentally pooped himself <laughs> on stage. <laughs> We talked about that earlier, played a clip. He pooped himself. And it was even worse because he was wearing white pants at the time. No. And he doesn't I know if anybody know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. He doesn't know if anybody noticed or not. You did not <laughs> mention that earlier. Yep. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox in the news. They seem to have reconciled because Megan posted a few uh, sexy shots of herself in the forest. And MGK responded, mm. quote, if this is what a wild animal looks like, I'd let it maul me. <gasps> what? <laughs> okay, MGK. I like it, that romantic talk. <laughs> I'd let it maul me. If this is what a wild animal looks like, I'd let it maul me. <laughs> wow. Uh, by the way, oh Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 won the box office $80 million. Okay. If you got a chance to head out to the wow. box office over the weekend. 842, it's a Bill and Jessica show. Here's Cool Ray. Good morning.